This is called Gospel of John, Chapter 1. My friend who is raped says the DA won't take the case. We're in church. The lights are dim. The men sit in a circle to discuss our world and by and through him. She is wearing a blue dress, light and watery, loose lace, sitting under muted beige, Celtic cross painted high on the wall, symbols from some other age, chalice, crown. I have nothing to say. I look at my sandaled feet and frown. Later, when I wake from numbness after a sudden summer storm, I walk by the sea. The tide is out, under blue sky, gold stand in yellow shimmered shallows. I pray for justice for a few footsteps and my mind falters. Without him, nothing was made that was made. He's the crease where love becomes path, rock, water, duck, <coughs> unpainted shutters. As if to her, he'd said, your body is a water jug. There's no worth to what's inside. No, I won't cry. A terrier regards me mournfully, sulking on leashes in. When I reach the road, I find the thick screen of weeds mown clean. Crickets sing from beneath drying husks on their homes, wilted leaves, little yellow flowers curled in on their pores. Further down, a new house is finished. A realtor sign shines. Only the climbing vine survives with its red trumpets spilling over the fence like fleeing refugees crying, death, and fire. 